Oh, what is this? A freaking gun? What? Okay, what is up, everybody? We are back again. The start of a whole new season of trash picking. We're out here today. We're in Avalon, but we're going to do Avalon Stone Harbor. And these are some of the most affluent beach towns in South Jersey where we live. The real estate sells for up to like $10 million, I'll just say. An average person doesn't normally buy a house here. It's usually people with a lot of money. So this is the our favorite place to trash pick because you can really find some serious roadside treasures out here. Our plan is to... Well, I'm personally, I'm looking, you guys know I'm always looking for something for, my, for our house. Um, I'm gonna find some backyard furniture because we we did clean out a lot in our backyard and it's like bare, which we both really, really like, but there's nowhere to sit when we're doing like bonfires, so. These so are light legit. too. So this is almost exactly what Sammy was looking for. Yeah, these are actually super nice. You know, that's just one thing that I'm like gonna keep my eye on, but obviously I wanna find decent stuff that's in decent condition. So outdoor furniture, that's your claim today? Like nice outdoor furniture, nothing crazy. Okay, I'm on the lookout for like a little flat screen, maybe like 20 inches. That sounds crazy, but we probably will come across one. And also bicycles this time of year. Mm. This bike right here, though, is literally exactly what I came, we came in here. For. People will like go in their garage and be like, oh, what are these bikes doing here? I'll just buy new ones and they just throw them out. And bikes also this time of year in the next like month or two are going to be the easy easiest any time of year to sell because people are going to be coming down and wanting to get bikes for cheaper than retail value because why wouldn't they this is it here we go <laughs> drink it our water now i was going to say we made an entire playlist <laughs> of trash picking videos last year and they did really well in terms of views people love the content so we're doing it all over again this year bigger better and heavier scores today is going to be the very start of our season trash picking rich beach towns for roadside treasure let's see what we can find today let's do it let's do it welcome to our channel we're tucker and sammy J, a a young couple from a sleepy coastal town called summers point located directly across the bay from some of the richest beach towns in the country every summer millions of people flock to the new jersey coast to enjoy the sun and sandy beaches and with them, they bring the excess of American culture, which many times ends up in the garbage. This series follows us as we drive from beach town to beach town, salvaging roadside treasures for profit. And the best part is, we never know what we'll find next. Very monkey. <laughs> Check this out though. This is solid piece of this plastic stuff that actually I could definitely use. I know that sounds crazy, but. Oh, like the or something. But I'm putting another side on the. Uh... Do you guys like his tattoos, right? I don't remember what year it was, but I got this made for him. <laughs> Had to call in dead. Used all my sick days. One Christmas. So first score of the day, just two pieces of this plastic plywood, I'm going to call it. But I'm going to use this. I have a special place to use it. <laughs> I said fins in my belly like, all right, you two have fun, mom and dad, but like, don't forget our lunch date that we made. <laughs> we're doing lunch today too. We are. We're doing lunch, like going out to lunch, which is something. Well, we've been, no, nah, we don't really do it that much, but we're going to today. So we just did the first like three, four streets. It doesn't look like there's anything out here, 
but our main mission today is to hit Stone Harbor because we actually actually we got an email from one of our viewers and they told us they're doing a bulk pickup to start off the season tomorrow or the next day so we're hoping a lot of people in Stone Harbor which is the next town down put out a lot of stuff usually they like don't so that, but so that's why we're like skimming through here right now through Avalon but excuse me um hopefully they do since it is bulk like it's not just regular trash it's bulk trash which, which means that there could be you know lawn furniture TV we're well, gonna I feel check like out this. People put out TVs like all year round. I'm gonna check out this dumpster straight quick. This is a teal dumpster. This is new construction, so there's probably not gonna be anything. I see twigs. But. I mean, I could just like. Uh, mm. Take a gander out here. What's that plant? Oh, Somebody times down. people throw stuff into dumpsters that isn't it supposed to be there, and it could be, you know, a house clean out or something. Let's just see. What is this? It's nice. Is it? I don't know. Is it it looks normal? nice. It looks, uh, it looks very nice. It's really nice. Wow. Is that wood though? What is that? I think the top's like wood and the bottom's metal. That's sick. All right. So this is going to be our first, our first come up here today. Is it metal? It is metal. Mm -hmm. Top's chipping a little bit. I think this is a, pretty easy $30, $40 Facebook sale though. It's particle wood? What? It's weird wood on the top, but somebody will want it. I like this. This is nice. Okay. This is a this is a score. I got it though. Oh, okay. Oh yeah. Good thing about this, if it ends up being a foul, we can scrap it if it ends up being a foul. First sign of some decent trash, a little armchair and a rug. There is hope out here. Okay, we pulled over to get a better look. Honestly, pretty nice this chair. Honestly, in like mint condition. Wow, it's a nice chair. Yeah, this is nice. We should scoop this. Should we for real? Yeah. For selling or for keeping? We'll think about it on the way. For Finn's room. Just sit on it. That, this is that same chair. Oh my gosh. It's so comfy, right? These guys just put this out too, because I can hear their dogs barking in there. I'm gonna get this. Yeah, I think we should. Sammy made the right call. She told me to turn around. Cause I could tell from the, cause my eyesight's a little bit better than Turner's. I could see that it was in mint condition, but I was. You can see from the house. You make the choice to turn. This house is like brand new, so yeah. All right, let's do this. I think I can just get it. I don't know. That doesn't come off. The cushions don't come off, so. I told you to wear your back brace. No, shut up. <laughs> Let's see. Mahogany. Okay. Date, what is this? Dayton Major Upholstery. I don't know. You could probably find online how much this is, but I can tell right tell you right now that they never even use this more than like five times. Perfect, perfect, perfect. These are the finds I like. <laughs> okay, I wicker. we just got into the next town where the bolt pickup actually is. Wicker chairs. And we're seeing already on the first street some stuff. Is that wicker? Uh, those are nice chairs. Oh shit, they are nice. Actually. Uh, they're cracked though. There's your TV. Let's check it out. Your Vizio uh, flat screen is really? way bigger than the inches here. Uh, I was only wanting like 20 inches or something. Yeah. This one like Alright, so here we go. This is the real deal. Oh, that's like a 50 inch TV. I don't want that. Wow. Or you do a I? Great full millennial. <laughs> <laughs> that's like a massive TV. These chairs are so sick too. 
but you'd never sell them in this condition. No. These, uh, I might skip it. Oh, wait. Oh, these are nice. I'm taking these. Those are decent. For real, they're, look at these conditions. Yeah, they're good. And they're sweet. I agree, they're good. Even this is sellable. We're not gonna take it because it's just not the greatest, but. Oh, so they knew. I think, I, yeah, grab those. All right, we're scoring now. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these, but I know they're in mint, mint, mint condition. Like, I feel like- They're mint for rizzle. We sorry, can put them in the which, back seat, right? Yeah. I feel like we were just saying that People just like buy things and then like maybe they change the color scheme of what they're going for and they're like, nah, just throw it out. Get it out of here. Well, they bought these to make the chairs look better and then they were over the chairs. It's gonna be, oh no, you don't move your seat back. Nah, that's be perfect. You good, she right? Yeah, we're good. What'd you just find? Oh no, that thing's creepy looking, but those are definitely so like the things Let's with check the heart. That. Yeah, I think so the too. The wood pieces. What are they, quilt racks? Yeah, you can use them as, yeah, if people have quilts like that anymore, but you can use them for blankets or like bath towels, I saw. Let's check them out. Twist. I think those are pretty good. Don't worry, guys, this is not heavy. Literally, I could pick that's this like up. That's like an older, that's like an antique. With my pinky. That's how light it is. True. I did think it was heavier than that. It looks heavy, but I... So we got two of these quilt racks. This one's not in great shape. This shelf? I don't know, maybe, dude. Because, like, people who repaint Because this is upside it's down. It's upside down. That's why it has those drips. Or is it? Yeah, I think it can go either way. I don't know. This is pretty nice. This is nice to paint and then use. I would say get this. For Papa's shoes. Or just to get it for yeah. any reason. I mean, it's cell life, too. But this one's rickety, though. Do you want this? Nah. Also, what does that have blood on it? That looks like blood. It does, kind of, actually. So stuff we're not taking, boogie board that could be used, little skim board, microwave oven that could be scrapped easily, two uh, Ace Hardware shovels, and some coffee cups, Churchill made in Columbia. They come with all their own dishes, but what are these? Those are old school. I might take those actually. All right, we just saw another fellow picker on the other street with a truck and it looked like he had a bunch of stuff in the back of it. So there's other people out here that know about the bulk pickup. What we got here is a table, chairs, pillows, trash can, nothing we want. Look at that, multiple dressers. Not ones we want, but somebody could use those for sure look at this another claim right here mm. don't even get out for that right not even long. worth getting it out for because <laughs> you don't want none of that sauce that either does a buyer this is the other guy we were talking about and he literally just put straight up gold in the back of his truck no joke He's just scrapping, and he just took epic stools. But good for him, good for him. I like to see it. There's a little baseball bat right there. Well, Robbie said to look out for, I know this is just a lot. He said to look out for small furniture, so. There's enough out here. Look at this. All sun faded, but couches, couches, couches. Wow. All oh, they're Ooh, garbage. That's. Traumatizing. Yeah, that's terrible. All right, so this, I, okay, that was. Southern Harbor's packed and stacked right now. Packed and stacked, but that was a lot of stuff, so we were like, oh, this has got to be good. I oh, like those shutters. They're so cute. They're cool. With the crescent moons, I love them. I'm seeing a moving truck, a U-Haul. So either they're moving or somebody just rented a U-Haul just to pick. <laughs> that but would be so I'm cool. seeing some bikes out here. That might be exactly what I was looking for. This lady's picking this stuff. Oh no, she's putting it in there. Broken glass in her hand. Let's see the bikes though. See if they're going. No. We're keeping them. 
moving along, right? We got what appears to be a pleather couch. Not up our alley. Not up. What do we got? A fire pit. Mm. Nothing else, right? No. Broken fire That's pit. literally garbage. That's scrap. Just garbage, you. Scrap for the boy who's coming around. Mm. Alright, there's like some boxes and stuff. Take a little quick gander. See what they're throwing there's out. Some cool shit in there. <laughs> what do you got? Oh, I don't know. This is somebody else's house. I'm doing, doing a job for them. But they have some neat old stuff. Yeah, some uh, odds and ends in here, right? Yeah, if you need like stuff for locks and shit, I mean, that's awesome. They're antique locks. That's true. You're not wrong. They're hard to get a hold of and worth a good dollar, too. Tons of them in here, too. It's the time of year. To pick, right? Everybody's throwing everything out. Yeah. You have a good one, brother. You too, dude. Thanks. Some old school, like, darts. Look at that. And then we got... Basically stuff I don't need. He was cool, though. He knew. And then I'm just going to grab this last one here. Because it has a bunch of copper in it. I'll just separate that. But I would say... I don't know. Maybe a few pounds of copper. Maybe not. But either way, some scrap value. Okay, this is when we say the streets are paved with gold. Or trash, one or the other. I'm going to park right here for a minute. Alright, this looks like they cleaned out their whole house because they're trying to sell it. And if you drive around here, the rate at which people buy, tear down, and rebuild houses is second to nowhere else that I've ever seen. This has got to be the, probably the worst trash pile I've ever seen. Right? That's like just disrespectful. I feel like they've had it out here for a bit. Because yeah. people were just like digging through it. Mm -hmm. Some old books, but we already know that doesn't go over too well. What is this? Look at that shotgun shell. Creepy. That's crazy. Among other weird vials of white powder and other creepy things. Transit, 1952. Oh, wow. Historical uh, significance, maybe, for someone. No way. They have this? Who would have this? They have Mein Kampf. Hitler's book. That's weird. That's brutal. Nobody wants that. This is a nice flower pot. Nah. Some jeans. We're good here, right? Yeah. Really cool. I actually just found like a keyboard. That's actually legit. Wow. I, I just I know people tell me not to to not turn the car off, but for the sound and the audio, we have to sometimes. Keyboard? Not sure about the condition of it working, but it looks in great condition from what I can tell. It probably just needs a power cord, which we definitely have. Oh, what is this? A freaking gun? What? Wow. This is isn't... It? Oh, it's a fake gun. No, it's a freaking real gun. No, it's got the orange tip on it. It says not a toy. Wow. That's not something I would want. 
that? Oh my gosh, there's another one. Just guns, cats on the streets. I think they are BB guns though. Yeah. Like but just not. What is this? Some kind of musical. Wait, I'm not... <laughs> He's they did have cats though, so they were cool. That's a big cat box. So anybody who doesn't know, the gun laws in New Jersey are super incredibly strict. So even if, even because that's a pellet gun and not a real gun, it's still, you need a permit and all kinds of paperwork. Like you can't just have guns in New Jersey, no matter what kind, it doesn't matter. Just putting that out there. That's why we're not picking it. Cause we don't want to deal with it. They had some iPads. You think this is the guy? That owns it? Yeah. No, they're just trash pickers too. I think we should get a picture with it. Nah, we don't want that, right? Nah. Let's grab the keyboard though. You think this is good? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look what's in here though. There's, there's these like guns over here. Like guns, you don't but. You really see that very often. <laughs> <laughs> Not in New Jersey. Jesus. <laughs> she, she didn't I don't care. believe it. What is I this? mean, they had the oh, little. That's a fake one, I think. I don't know what the orange means. They're definitely BB guns, but still. Oh, BB gun. Yeah. yeah. But still, it's so weird. It's very interesting. <laughs> it is. I've never seen that like it. Me neither. Yeah. Yeah. Keyboard? Yeah, I think yeah, I it looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks pretty good. <laughs> All right, happy picking, guys. There's always something out here. Yes, there is. We can always throw it in the trash. Yeah. You can find right, real good stuff on these streets, though. These are Beats headphones. <laughs> yeah. This guy didn't care. He's, take, he's taking that gun right home with him. <laughs> I knew they would. That's why I was like, they got guns over here. It's weird. He wasn't worried for one second. She picked it right up. I just wanted to see what that was it's like a cool ottoman that uh, got ruined because they left it outside yeah see we just pulled away and look at this another pile of gold it was gold because you're right that cushions wherever they came from were so cool was a cool mall, piece they there. had them outside we're good move along we're gucci we're gucci Look at this vintage uh, office okay. chair right there. That's cool. All right. Here we go. Another pile. Are these people in this Porsche picking? What were they doing? Being fucking creepy? What were those people doing? Intimidate what? I don't fucking know. This is roadside trash. Anybody can pick it at any time. As soon as you put it to the curb, it becomes public property. Yeah, but I'm not worried about. They were trying to intimidate you to what, though? I have no idea. Cause I wasn't, unless the police. Unless the police came here, I wasn't leaving this pile. Like, I want to look in it. Damn, some of those kids done messed that up. Oh, they cut the cord off of it, too. Yeah, the scrappers have been here. Scrappers. Look at this. That's kind of cool. Right? Yeah. Is that like? It says something on it, but I, I would get that. Yeah. That's cool. What is this? Oh, dead on it. Look at this. All oh, their old trophies. Shanty Creek Lodge. 1967 golf trophy. 
That's crazy. <laughs> really? It's plastic. Yeah, uh, that's like a. It's this one right there. <laughs> Look at that. I guess because it's like so old school. This is like a clean out situation. I kind of want to see what's in here. Me too. Little visor. Ooh, NJ State Police hat. Let me push all this down. Whoa, yeah. <laughs> That's it right there. It's like a. Uh... This was the hat collection, though. Too bad there was nothing like too spicy. Ooh. Yeah, I'm good on that. He's scrapping. Well, he's looking for other stuff. That's just uh, like a bath mat, but it looks like a sheepskin. That guy was just straight cruising right there. Picking up metal though. He was just picking up scrap. That's his boy. Yeah. The boy boy. I'm just going to take this. Because I don't really know what it is. It's an old radio, but it could be worth a few dollars. Nothing crazy, but what is this? I'm getting these. These are gold. I'm getting these. These are straight gold. <laughs> this is why we came out here today yeah, for the dream. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, sure. we didn't just score these. Big Yo. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. This is real. Not really. Not as crazy as you would think. Damn, these are kind of sweet though for like bug, bug. for the garage. Like where we did the podcast thing. It's true because I could just lay a little thingy on them. Damn, these are fire. I get getting these. One for L. One for ill. <laughs> We're getting these. We're getting these. Because you don't see this every day. Or ever. Did we score gold today? This is these are literally gold. <laughs> All right, how are we gonna fit these? I mean, these are kind of like, oh, they're heavy too, which is a good sign. These are like Andy Warhol style. That's what I would. That's what I would call them. I feel like you could just steam clean these though if you really wanted to. You get what I'm saying? Who you or? Someone that you sell them to. Someone that you sell them to. Yeah. Or. I don't know how this is going to work. Well, we uh, picked this trash before. Yeah. This is where we got the fridge from. Yep. And they have fake palm trees. In the trash? Uh huh. Wow. I didn't notice that. <laughs> Wow, the you fake palm want. trees are cool. We're gonna have to be uh this know. this bike right here though is literally exactly what I came we came out here for. This stuff like this. Yeah. So this should be like fifty dollars on Facebook. Yeah, after this we might have to go home. We might have to come back tomorrow You're not wrong. and get another load because this is so good. Like in that beach bag? Let's see what's in here Leaves. Leaves? <laughs> There's leaves. I feel like maybe we should take the palm trees. Nah, the palm trees are brutal, Honda. Yeah? What do you think? <laughs> I don't say take them. Yeah, take them. We can put them on the back deck. Uh, like I can cut them down. Split, but you put this face up. Uh, yeah, you gotta get We gotta these. get these. Because you just stick them in the yard throw them out. They're too cool. Yeah. Is it wide angle? Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I got it. So this is our load so far. And it's all super cool stuff. We did well today. But we may come back for round two. So stay tuned. 
tomorrow, you think? Yeah, probably. There was some uh, unique stuff in the trash today. All right, we're just gonna shred this beast back with all of our, what would you call it? All the goods. All the treasures that we took from the street, basically. All the goods, we got good stuff. Uh, so we didn't bring the trailer today, one, because it's a complete burden to drive around on the small streets, but two, because this was our test day to see if we were gonna hit, um, and we hit, so we hit the lottery. We have been out where we didn't get anything really at all, and so we don't want to be dragging around the trailer for no reason but we're thinking go home regroup take all this stuff out i'll try and post most of it and show you guys like a general price range of what we could get for it and then you know tomorrow's another day for picking so we're going to probably come back out uh, i would say look for another video coming soon after this month how would you summarize today's picks Big success, right? Success. Pound it. fake palm trees because Papa Turner has Papa that's what I call him Papa Senior has concrete um, so we're gonna decorate the garden a little bit with the fake palm trees because we were talking about doing that on the side Turner is claiming to get like the big fake palm trees for the side of the house but um they're like a few grand for just the fake ones so yeah for like legit nice ones so this is cool that we found these in the trash like that i would consider that a score these you? are probably like 300 each that's what i'm saying like they're super exp expensive because we were at tommy what was that place called whatever it was i was gonna say tommy bahama but they just sold tommy bahama furniture and they had um like fake trees like that they're like a little bit more uh like fluffy well, i don't know what the word would be but uh, they were super expensive, so let's just do this. Cause... All right, what are we doing here? Why are we here? No, it's a planter. Why do I keep calling a vase? Like I'm putting a freaking flower in it. We're getting a, we're getting a pot. Where are we? We're at McNaughton's in Summers Point, New Jersey. You know what music? It's like a freaking jungle in here. I like it in here. This is where I'm gonna bring Finn. This is where I'm gonna be hanging out. I love it this would here. be a nice place for a lizard. Yeah, they have birds that come in here. Look at the birds. Wow. <laughs> Imagine having that. Look, Just this is chilling. Right under your tree. These are so cute, right? I love these guys. So that's the trick to keeping it alive in here. The humidity. Yeah, it's yeah. heavy. I love it. Look at all these little guys. It's really not supposed to be in humid weather. My body reacts well to it. This one with all the freaking different ones. Yeah, rub it on your face one actually. This is what we need. That's a, $51. That's expensive as tomorrow. 
after we just got all that stuff for free that I wasn't looking at I those prices. Because like, the ones that we got here from here last time were like under 20, so. <laughs> Dairy Fresh ice cream? That's you. Which one are these? These are milk ones. What is this? Milkman. This is crazy. We might only need like this. Yeah. This one and that one. Because you're the ice cream on the milk. The milkman. The milkman. Alright, so this is how crazy we are. We're going to take these and put the tree in and then we're gonna put concrete around it so that it's a solid weight at the bottom of the tray. Ice cream, dairy. I'm going this way. Are these what the call are? Yeah, these are what the call are. All right, so we're back at the house. The truck's right there, as you guys can see. Filled with all the treasures that we got earlier. And now we're gonna unload it, put it in the driveway, and then give you guys like a price range of what we think it'll sell for just to get a gist of like what we actually got today so that's the plan and then we're gonna do well maybe we'll do the trees first and, th and then start doing that while the trees are drying but we'll figure it out as we go all right first thing out the cushions the so what'd you what'd you get six cushions how many cushions six, seven, eight eight cushions yeah there's eight eight seat cushions in perfect condition mm -hmm. look at that all right first thing to do is cut off these little ends so that we can fit it so it nice basically it looks nicer duct tape i need to get the duct tape is that where you're coming up just to so oh, that, just so that the concrete doesn't come out, yeah. yeah sure. Perfecto. She's got concrete all over her. How? Oh wait, no, that's just dirt. <laughs> <laughs> come here, Mom Lewis. Why you got dirt all over you? Hmm? Yeah, giving everybody kisses? Come on, Lucky. I'll show you the trees, come on. Luxster, come on. She's like, Dad's getting wild. Come on. <laughs> she knows when to run. <laughs> look at her. Look, sir, come here. Lucky, look. Come here. Come here, look. This is where I put the cushions. Well, I just utilized three of them. And then these ones maybe we'll put on your, your couch out back, right? Luxter. All right, so we put the cement in here. It's a little sloppy, but it'll work. And the two pots here. And then basically, I guess you just hold one of them in there as straight as you think, and then I'll fill it. Is that a good idea? Yeah. So here's the first one. That kind of gonna dry. You're just gonna sit there with it. I'm gonna sit here all night like this. <laughs> I mean, I could let go of it, but it's not quite dry yet. So you could sprinkle a little bit another of another 24 hours. Sprinkle like a little this. bit of the dry stuff on top, and it'll suck up the water. You think? Mm-hmm. Like literally a spoonful. See, a little spoonful of dry stuff. Like this. Get a little spoonful. Put it on the top. Ooh, that's a wet area there. I can take like 10 spoonfuls. Alright, here they are in their former glory. Actually, they were probably never this good. But the pots that we got from McNaughton's and they're filled up and they got zip ties holding them to this table so that they dry straight. Wow. <laughs> That's too funny. They look good. I'm excited for them to dry. Huh? Should we unload the rest of this stuff? Yeah, yeah. And we'll put it here. I'll do this. We'll milk this guy a little more. I might just leave him in the driveway. He could be used right to display the blue chairs, though. We display everything. Aren't we 
you putting it on? Yeah, <laughs> put it on mine, yeah. That's yeah. what I'm saying. True, we could use the quilt rack first. Check that out. Uh -huh. <laughs> Let's do this. All right, so I'm looking up the chair that we found in the trash. I just typed in Lazy Boy swivel chairs because it's not a recliner, it just swivels. And it's very, very comfy. But look, it says baby relax, Mabel swivel gliding. It says recliner, but it does kind of recline back, but not like crazily. So that's interesting that that happened and it's very, very nice. Um, so this is $589 at Macy's, but that's still $589. The Performance Everyday Velvet Great Groovy Chair is really, really cool. That's for teenagers though, and it's Pottery Barn, but either way, I just wanted to mention that because we got post-it notes. And we'll be putting them all over the items to give like a rough estimate of what you could sell the item for or what we would sell them for realistically so that's what we're down offering nah all right we got the baby feeding chair coming right up right is this for the baby i was just wanting to see the black cat the baby Do you want me to just hold it and then <laughs> what do you mean? I'm saying hold it on on top of there and then you can push it like just hold it in place this guy it's, it's going it's going gone it's gone is it that heavy yeah, it's pretty heavy it's pretty heavy she's looking at the cat do you guys see it right, right. it's literally her what if it is her no that guy's wild looking. Did you see his booty? That's the guy that was in the backyard that one day. He looks like he don't clean his butt, and I can see that far, far away. You might have a point there. <laughs> this guy's just manning it in there. Well, I don't know if this is going to go. Yeah, I have to get it this way. This guy's a savage. That's the craziest way to put it in, but it's in. Good thing, uh, Bug Bug and Boo Boo's chair, couch, pink couch isn't there anymore. She won't work this one too, what's she getting? Yeah, that's true, but that's okay. Doesn't ruin how it works, just how it looks. It looks like cats have been dead. <laughs> you like this piece? It will, though. It was for free. So yeah, free for me. I have to kind of ponder on this one. All right, let's ponder. All right, I'm coming to you. Ready? I'm ready. Welcome to our, I don't know, I was gonna say, I was gonna come up with something clever, but then I had a brain fart. So these are the items that we trash picked and posted notes on them and priced them. And you guys might see, think like the prices are ridiculous, but it's just the prices are what they are. So for the bike, we claim 40, cause realistically you're not gonna get 50 for this bike. It's not in that great of condition. It's got rust on it, but there are like bike refurbishers or whatever they call themselves. And you know, this is a bike that's in decent enough condition to refurbish it back to a nice bike. And then they can upsell it however much they, they need to, to pay their bills. I think it's ready to go as is. It is good because we found like worse bikes and sold them for more. This keyboard put 50. That might even be a little bit high because I, I did check the eBay um, sold listings and it said like 100 and that was with like the little stand thing that goes in here and the cord which Turner has a cord but I just put 50 because like if it's selling for 100 with all the good stuff then it is what it is so 50 would be fine with me for the table we put 30 
because realistically, we probably end up selling it for twenty. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so everything's like ten dollars less than it actually is. <laughs> yeah. So then these, I just went ten because I used some of the cushions. So there's only five, <laughs> so there isn't a match. What'd you say? The wind was just picking up so much, but it's all good. All right. Hopefully you guys heard that. The cushions, I put ten because I used some of them, and there's only five left. So. That's an uneven number. Somebody might not be very happy with that. But if it doesn't sell, I'll just use it anyway. This rack, quilt rack, 25. I would say like 15 mm -hmm. at the Lego Flay, 10. Exactly. <laughs> but you always have to put it a little bit higher. You know what I mean? Because people will always talk you down when you're reselling something that's trash picked or used. So these put 50 okay because it's not in good condition even though these are really 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 cool chairs and we ended up losing a cushion on the way this tragically one. so, there, so there's mad another about it. what's it's actually right there the lonesome footstool but the top got lost somehow from there to here we should have just put it in the car but at the same time we didn't really want it in the car because it has like cigarette burns on it or something weird. There's no cigarette burns. A kid took sparkly glue and got it all over the place, and that's why his mama had to throw it out. So, that is so 50 sad. for all three because of the condition and the fact that it's missing what it's missing. And then Turner's knickknacks over here, we threw a $10 tag on it because it's got copper pieces in there. And it's got darts from 1920. That Turner said. You know, if it doesn't sell, you can just throw them at Paul's ass. <laughs> I did say that. Look, he this little pipe that. cutter. Little, little knickknacks. Yeah, bunch Somebody, of scrap. You know what's funny is that I bet you you could sell this for $10. Obviously. I should have gotten man, the other ones. But this box does look fun. And then this was the extra, like, one to throw in. It's a Lexington, some kind of a radio, like, cord cut that way well. It's the model LE1. You didn't notice that before, did you? I, didn't, I thought it was a cord that you could take in and out. Our I didn't friend realize. cut it earlier. Yeah, he did do that. <laughs> so that's the whole... Shebang. Oh, we could show you the, um, the palm trees. Oh, yeah, but we also kept the Lazy Boy that we got. And we have that sitting inside. So that was a plus, plus the palm trees. So all in all, great day out there. Scoring gold. gold. Got to hit it tomorrow to hit it tomorrow hopefully it's as nice as it was to, well it was cold today but hopefully it's as sunny as it was hopefully you guys can hear me too okay so when we got all the pictures of the stuff and laid it all out i posted some of the items to facebook and someone wants to look at the chairs already put them up for 60 not 50 so we'll see might even get a little more than we thought even without the second footstool Okay, I didn't film it, but because they just came right in here and looked at them, but they're going to buy them for sure. Uh, she just has to have her husband come back and get them with the truck tomorrow morning. So chairs are basically already sold. All right, they're about to buy these chairs. So picked them yesterday, sold them the next morning. Oh, yeah. Hey, how are you? Thank you. Thank you. Cool. Got this. And I'll help you. You think that will fit in it? I, yeah. It'll be close, but yeah, I think so. I wrote this part full of hay. You think... Oh, uh, hay? You think you're going to put a different top on it? Mm hmm Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. I've been doing it for like 80 years, so... That's cool. But, but this... I, I do for other people, and um boring. This one I want to make it very artsy. For fun. This is cool. These are really cool to do that with. I, I want to put like... Uh, I'm going to put like a fabric like this. Like like this. And the next layer is going to be like like this. Something different. That's really, Maybe really something cool. different that's going to be like a center. Okay. Some, I like that. Something. Something. Because I'm getting like really not just making things like boring. You know like factory like. Yeah. You want to put it over it? Yeah, yeah. I don't like this part because it's really dirty. And I don't 
Well and hate. No, me neither. Uh, thank you so much. Well, I want to have these separate, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have kids? Uh, one on the way. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You probably have all those baby showers and stuff, right? I I don't know. I people keep asking me like, is someone throwing me a baby shower? And I'm like, um, I don't. I've never been to one myself. I don't really care if I have one either. Yeah. I'm not. Well, if I, if, if I just bring stuff, would you take it? Like, for baby shower? No, if we just. I have four kids. Oh, four kids? Yeah. I don't know what it's going to be yet. I actually have a doctor's appointment today and then. It's pretty generic stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so I take the old. I mean, the new fabric off. And then you put what? Uh, another fabric off. Do you just. Like pick what you think. No, no, no. They bring they me pick? everything. Okay. But the thing is, the fabric that was on the sofa or section or whatever is brand new, and they want to get rid of it and put in new stuff. You know, like I feel like so bad, like breaking new things. And yeah. Put <laughs> so I fold the fabrics and put it in the shelf. So if anybody needs something done, I just give it to people or I do it. Oh, so you save it. Oh, that's smart. I recycle though. everything, and like, and if somebody wants to do it. I would rather want somebody to come to my workshop. I show you how to do it. You do it yourself. Yeah. You know, and you use my leftovers. It's like free. That's cool. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So I, I, and uh, the, everybody know that if they need like a chair or anything to fix, I have vinyls, fabrics. I have, I don't have room for it. So every once in a while, I just put it like on a Facebook. Facebook. So like if somebody wants to come and just pick it up, but I don't want to throw it away. It's a yeah. good stuff. Yeah. We have that problem too. Yeah, yeah. clearly. <laughs> That's why we try to sell it. So if my husband sees that I get this, he not, he, I just stole his car. He's still sleeping. He works nights. He won't care. He'll like it. But today is the day. Today is my birthday. So he ain't going to say, kick, get rid of it. <laughs> Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. <laughs> See you. See ya. Have a good one. Send us a picture when it's done. Oh, definitely. Yeah. yeah, we would love that. Look, these dry. I know, we got to pour this one's a little bit more wet. in. <laughs> or do you think that's fine? Because look how perfect this one looks. These are going to be sweet candy, these, baby. These are, these are so cool. I told you these would be good. All right, so the first sale from our trash picking yet this year just sold to that lady. She does upholstery or reupholstery, and she's going to do that as a project like she was explaining and do it for herself when usually she does it oh for other gosh. clients I wonder so if it was she would cool upholstery a freaking car she probably would she could the caddy because i know she got flavor but yeah so successful, successful. mission we're gonna go Back to a doctor's out. appointment today for sammy for finn, for finn. and Come we're gonna on. hopefully get the mri or what is it it's the ultrasound yeah. The, pers the script for the ultrasound so that we can see whether it's a boy or a girl. If Finn's in the right position. So, what am I? 19 weeks and 19 weeks and two days. It's going by really fast. Um, so, I, I should be able to tell if he's if his his or her genitals are you know facing the right way. Oh yeah, let's go pick some more. So after that, we're going to go out and get another load of stuff because the streets were paved with gold yesterday. Um, I wanted to say this is like one of the funnest things you could ever do. And especially with somebody else that likes it, like doing it with someone that you love, like your wife or husband, boyfriend, brother, I don't know, anybody in your life that you could go out picking. And it's such a stress reliever for both of us who have anxiety. <laughs> It's honestly the funnest thing ever. Uh, I could do it all day, every day, just cruising around looking for stuff on the street. I mean, it's not trash day, and it's definitely not bulk trash day every day, but wow, is it ever enjoyable just to see what treasures you can find. But then you, like, cause yourself a different type of anxiety when you get home with all the goods. And you're like, where the hell am I going to put all this? i got to post all this. But then that's what builds character is the work. So there's always a balance. There's fun, and then there's work. If you can find a way to balance that out, then you Gucci. I didn't finish eating my French toast, so me and Finn's got some some eatings today. So we also sold that item for ten dollars more than we anticipated. So we're ten dollars ahead in the game. True, right? 
Too shy. So that means we can knock off a 10 from somewhere else and still be up there. Too shy. So part two's coming. We're about to go picking later. Stay tuned, everybody. Stay